Welcome to Daily Scripture and Meditation with Shirley Celis Jackson. We begin, as always, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thursday, the 17th of November, 2022, of the 33rd week in Ordinary Time, is the optional memorial of St. Elizabeth of Hungary. Oh, how supremely necessary for me, O Lord, is your grace to begin that which is good, to go forward with it and accomplish it. Daily Prayer Lord Jesus, you have visited and redeemed your people. May I not miss the grace of your visitation today as you move to bring your people into greater righteousness and holiness of life. Purify my heart and mind that I may understand your ways and conform my life more fully to your will. Amen. Introduction to the Liturgy of the Word A Hungarian princess, Elizabeth, was married to Ludwig, Landgrave of Laringia, at the age of 14, and together they had three children. Elizabeth was devoted to her husband. He, for his part, grew to love Elizabeth's open-handed care for the war. So long as she does not sell the castle, I am happy with her, he declared. Ludwig died while on his way to the Crusades in 1227. Elizabeth gave herself over to diligent prayer, penance, and tending the poor in the hospital she founded. She died in the habit of the Franciscan Third Order at the age of 24. The Epistle The Lamb that was slain purchased us with his blood from every nation. A reading from the book of Revelation, chapter 5, verse 1. I, John, saw a scroll in the right hand of the one who sat on the throne. It had writing on both sides and was sealed with seven seals. Then I saw a mighty angel who proclaimed in a loud voice, who is worthy to open the scroll and break its seals? But no one in heaven, or on earth, or under the earth was able to open the scroll or to examine it. I shed many tears because no one was found worthy to open the scroll or to examine it. One of the elders said to me, Do not weep. The Lion of the tribe of Judah, the Root of David, has triumphed, enabling him to open the scroll with its seven seals. Then I saw, standing in the midst of the throne and the four living creatures and the elders, a lamb that seemed to have been slain. He had seven horns and seven eyes. These are the seven spirits of God sent out into the whole world. He came and received the scroll from the right hand of the one who sat on the throne. When he took it, the four living creatures and the twenty-four elders fell down before the Lamb. Each of the elders held a harp and gold bowls filled with incense, which are the prayers of the Holy Ones. They sang a new hymn. Worthy are you to receive the scroll and break open its seals, for you were slain, and with your blood you purchased for God those from every tribe and tongue, people and nation. You made them a kingdom and priest for our God, and they will reign on earth. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 149 Responsorial The Lamb has made us a kingdom of priests to serve our God. Sing to the Lord a new song of praise in the assembly of the faithful. 
Let Israel be glad in their Maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their King. The Lamb has made us a kingdom of, of priests to serve our God. Let them praise His name in the festive dance. Let them sing praise to Him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord loves His people, and He adorns the lowly with glory. The Lamb has made us a kingdom of priests to serve our God. Let the faithful exult in glory. Let them sing for joy upon their couches. Let the high praises of God be in their throats. This is the glory of all His faithful. Alleluia! The Lamb has made us a kingdom of priests to serve our God. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Gospel. If you only knew what makes for peace. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke chapter 19 verse 41. As Jesus drew near Jerusalem, he saw the city and wept over it, saying, If this day you only knew what makes for peace. But now it is hidden from your eyes. For the days are coming upon you when your enemies will raise a palisade against you. They will encircle you and hem you in on all sides. They will smash you to the ground and your children within you. And they will not leave one stone upon another within you because you did not recognize the time of your visitation. The Gospel of the Lord Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Meditation He saw the city and wept over it. Luke chapter 19 verse 41 The Mount of Olives provides a sweeping view of the city of Jerusalem. From where he stood, Jesus would have seen the magnificent temple on Mount Zion towering over the rest of the city. But Jesus could not enjoy the scenery. He knew that one day the temple and all of Jerusalem would be destroyed. Not even one stone upon another would be left standing. Luke chapter 19 verse 44 and so he wept. But these were not tears of bitterness or anger. They were tears of compassion. Jesus was entering Jerusalem for the last time. It wouldn't be long before he would be hanging on a cross. He knew that many in the city would not accept the salvation that he had come to give them. Still, he loved them and he wanted them to see what God was doing right in their midst. He felt sorrow for the consequences they would one day suffer for failing to recognize him as the Messiah. Jesus' reaction provides a glimpse not only into his heart, but also into the heart of his Father. We might feel tempted to think that all the sin in the world is cause enough for God to become angry and perhaps even to lash out in revenge. But that's not the way of our God. He knew in advance that many would reject His Son and His knowledge must have grieved Him. Yet in His merciful, compassionate love, he never gave up hope that every one of his beloved people would eventually turn to him. At times we may find ourselves mourning as Jesus did. 
We mourn when we see so many people who don't acknowledge him. We mourn when we see the consequences that inevitably come from turning away from him. We mourn for the times we have also turned away from God. In all those times, our weeping is appropriate. But we don't want our mourning to overshadow the joy we are called to have as disciples of Christ. We especially don't want to become angry or bitter. We can instead let our sorrow move us to fall on our knees and intercede for all those who don't yet know the Lord. And as we pray, we can unite our hearts with the heart of our Father, who wants nothing more than for everyone to recognize the time of His Son's visitation. Jesus, today I weep for all those who don't know you. May they open their eyes to your saving love. Amen. We are God's hands, feet, and voice. May his peace rest upon you as you go and announce the gospel of the Lord in your words and deeds. Thank you for joining today. Abundant blessings upon you and yours. Amen. We close as always in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, I'm Shirley, residential realtor for many years. As a professional, I welcome and encourage you to contact me whether you are buying or selling a home. Or if you know like-minded people like yourself that you want me to help guide through this overwhelming process. Whether in the Dallas Metroplex or across the country, I'd love to assist in your real estate needs. Click the link in the description below to land on my website for a plethora of real estate information. Thank you and blessings upon you and yours.